One player's celebration sparked a worldwide controversy. Another's was literally illegal. Here are 10 celebrations that were banned from football. And first up, we have Georgios Katidis, whose celebration literally got him banned for life. See, Athens and Veria were going up against each other in 2013, but absolutely no one could have predicted what was about to happen. The game was relatively boring, as it was a one-all tie for most of the game, but both teams knew the next goal would change everything. Athens got the ball in the dying minutes, and with one final shot left, Georgios managed to score the winning goal with a timely deflection into the post. The entire team ran out of excitement to celebrate, but if his teammates and fans knew what Georgios was about to do, they would have tied him up before the game and taped his mouth with duct tape, because what he did launched a worldwide outrage. He went to the sidelines, took off his shirt, and did this. Seriously? I won't even make a joke about this one. He went way too far. You can't be this dumb, even more so in front of the entire world. His celebration sparked a huge outcry from the public, and the Greek Football Federation had to axe him real quickly. They decided to ban Georgios for life. And I think it's safe to say we all agree this was more than deserved. But don't think this video is only about relatively unknown Greek footballers, as the next one on our list is one of the biggest and greatest forwards of all time. See, back in 2019, Gareth Bale scored his 100th goal with a fine finish to secure the win for Los Blancos in the Madrid derby, which, aside from El Clasico, is the most heated game in Spain. And apparently, the heat got to him, because after scoring, he made a gesture that shocked everyone. He went and did the sleeve cutter celebration whilst looking at the rival fans. Now, if you don't know, this celebration is considered to be highly offensive in Spain. It's known as a sleeve cutter, when you bring one arm across the other forearm and do an up yours effectively, said one Spanish football journalist. And when the Atletico fans saw this, they were very, very pissed. And the league officials were pissed as well. The disciplinary committee stated he should have faced a 12-game ban. But, apparently, there was no reference to Bale's sleeve-cut gesture in the referee's match report, so he got away with a warning. Not sure if that's exactly the truth, but that's the official statement. But anyway, someone who wasn't able to get off with a warning was another Real Madrid player, Mr. Vinicius Jr. But this incident happened back in the days before he arrived in Spain. See, Vinny was a bit of a menace in Brazil, and in one game, his savagery got his entire team banned. Vinicius played for Flamengo, and they were going up against Botafogo in a heated encounter. If Flamengo won the match, they would go straight to the final of the Guanabara Cup, so it's safe to say there was a lot on the line. The game went on until the 94th minute, but then Vinicius Jr. decided enough was enough and put the ball in the back of the net for Flamengo. He was excited for sure, but maybe his excitement was a little much because the way he celebrated infuriated the opposing team. He mocked the Botafogo fans with a crybaby gesture. But what the hell was so special about this celebration? Seems pretty standard to the untrained eye, right? Well, it's because there's a deep history behind these two teams. Back in 2008, Flamengo won a game against Botafogo, but they didn't take the loss too well. They blamed the referee for their loss, but they didn't just complain. They felt so bad after the game that they ended up crying in front of everyone. I think you see now why Vinny's celebration hit a nerve. So how did Botafogo retaliate to this celebration? Well, they simply banned the entire Flamengo team from their stadium. Forever. At least Vinicius Jr. didn't have to pay a fine, because Robbie Fowler's celebration ended up costing him a lot of money. Back in 1999, Robbie Fowler was Liverpool's most lethal striker. The fans literally nicknamed him God. Yes, God. Because when he had the ball, he was almighty and powerful. It seemed there was nothing he couldn't do. But what he did during a game against Everton cost him a shitload of money. 
Before the game, the fans started spreading rumours about Robbie using drugs. They wanted to distract him so he wouldn't be at the top of his form. But when he got to the pitch, he made them know that even though he is God, he doesn't show mercy. So after scoring a penalty, he decided to mock the fans with his celebration. He got down on the floor and acted as if he was snorting a line of cocaine. Liverpool fans were thrilled by his mockery, but the FA, on the other hand, wasn't too happy. So they hit him with a four game suspension and the largest fine in Premier League history at the time, $44,000. Robbie Fowler was fined for trying to turn a football match into a Narcos episode, just like Kay Kamara got in trouble for trying to turn his celebration into something you could only see on the hub. Yes, that hub. You know the one I'm talking about. It was back in 2016 in the MLS, and Kamara's team, the New England Revolution, was going up against CF Montreal. It was a very important match, as it was Montreal's last chance to qualify for the MLS playoffs. New England was chilling, because they were already qualified. But they still weren't going to let the win slip through their fingers. They were going to end the season with a win. The Montreal players were getting frustrated after a while, but things became really crazy in the 70th minute. Kamara hits a hard ball past the keeper into the net, and his celebration? I can't even describe it. You have to see it for yourself. And I hope you don't have any kids around. The referee gave Kamara a yellow card and I'm sure his DMs were buzzing that night with lots of ladies wanting a piece of the action. You don't? Well, Ronaldo does. Because he took a page right out of Kamara's book with this next celebration. Let's go back to the 2019 Champions League. Juventus were in deep trouble. They were in the round of 16 and had lost their first leg match against Atletico Madrid by two goals to one. This was a tall mountain to climb for Juventus, but as we all know, ain't no mountain high enough for Ronaldo to climb. And he climbed it really, really fast. In the first half, Ronaldo equalized the score with two goals. But things got even crazier in the 85th minute when Ronaldo put Juventus ahead with a penalty. He was evidently overcome with emotion and celebrated in a way that Georgina knows all too well. I'm pretty sure he did some more of that later on in the evening. But it looks like UEFA wasn't too impressed with Ronaldo's on-field action and slapped him with a $23,000 fine. But at least Ronaldo kept his clothes on while doing it, because the real GOAT Nicholas Bentner did something even more obscene. See, Denmark and Portugal were playing each other in the 2012 Euros. It was a heated match, and Denmark went down by two goals in the first 37 minutes of the game. The Danes were getting frustrated, especially Nicholas Bentner, because what people didn't know was that little Nick had something prepared under his sleeve. Or should I say, under his pants? Bentner scored a first goal to bring Denmark back into the game, and then in a dramatic turn of events, he scored a second to tie the game. He was excited, but the excitement went a little too far when Bentner showed the entire whole world his Paddy Power underwear. Crazy, right? Well, what's even crazier is the amount of money he had to pay as a fine. $135,000 as well as a one-game suspension. But he got very lucky, because Paddy Power loved the gesture so much, they decided to cover the expenses for Nicholas. Or was this all planned from the beginning? Who knows? While Bentner was fine for his underwear, Neymar was literally banned for what he put on his face. We can all agree Neymar was a beast for Santos. He was a young and attractive player making waves in the football world. So in a group stage match between Santos and Colo Colo, Everyone was looking at Neymar to carry the team to victory. In the 51st minute, he got the ball and did what he does best, put it straight into the back of the net. But what he did next cost him a lot and quickly sucked the joy out of the moment. Neymar went and got a mask of himself and put it on his face to celebrate. Jeez, I know you love yourself, Neymar, but even for you, this is a little over the top. Of course, the referee was pissed, and so he gave Neymar a yellow card. 
Unfortunately, Neymar already had one, and so he was sent off immediately. What a rookie move. But at least Neymar put a mask on his face, because what this next player did with his face literally offended an entire race. Issa Alekasia was one of the best players for Persepolis FC in 2020. He had scored four goals in three matches. He was killing it, but then he almost killed his entire career with a single celebration. Because in a match against Pactacor, Issa scored one of two goals for his team. And when he scored, he went and did this extremely controversial celebration. Mocking Asians in front of the entire world. What the hell was he thinking? Like, dude, you play in the Asian league. How stupid can you be? The AFC was clearly not happy with this move and banned Issa from the league for over six months. And on top of that, he had to pay a $10,000 fine. Unlike Issa, Teofilo Gutierrez wasn't racist toward anyone. But instead, he decided to steal from the referee to celebrate. Teo was playing for Sporting CP in the Europa League against Besiktas. It was do or die for Sporting. If they lost the game, they were out of the tournament. Sweet satisfaction came in the 76th minute, when Teo finally scored a goal for Sporting. The goal should have been enough, right? Well, not for Teo, because what he did next made everyone laugh, even the referee. He went up to the referee, took his vanishing spray, and tried to write a message on the ground. And to make things worse, he failed. It literally looks like whipped cream. Bro, if you're going to do something like that, at least know how to use the spray. The referee found this funny, and then he gave him a yellow card. Let me know if I've forgotten anyone, and I might even make a part two. But in the meantime, subscribe and watch this video on screen, man.